Right now, I'll be making my version of the fish cake. Better what makes it so delicious is my special mango mint salsa. Mmm. Century tuna fish cakes with mango mint salsa. Fruit with fish, Deba, is such a refreshing twist to making tuna. First, let's make the patties. Get a bowl and mix two cups of breadcrumbs, two 184 grams of century tuna red label chunks in vegetable oil. Red's the premium line made for cooking. You can also use century tuna solid in vegetable oil if you want chunkier patties. It's up to you. Add in a cup of chopped onions, four eggs, and this will bind the whole thing together. Add half a teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of chili powder. You can add more or less depending on how you like it, but as for me, I personally love it spicy. And lastly, some salt and pepper. Now let's finish up our patties, form them into little balls, and flatten them a bit. We'll leave this in the ref for a few minutes to chill. While the patties are chilling, let's make the special salsa. We'll need two cups of chopped ripe mangoes, half a cup of chopped red onions, one teaspoon of calamansi juice, and some fresh cilantro and mint leaves. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Give it a quick toss and you're done. Let me get my patties in the fridge here. So in a hot pan, drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Let's put the patties in. Mm, that's what you want to hear. Now you should be able to make five patties with this recipe. You can actually get 96 milligrams of DHA per patty. Did you know that DHA helps keep your brain healthy? So these patties actually help you make smart conversations with your friends. Deba, turn your patties over and fry them until they're brown on both sides. They're done. Now all you have to do is top these patties with our salsa. Mmm, that looks delicious. I'm Teresa Fanga, your red hot chef. Remember, there's always a sexy way to eat.